Hey guys. <clears throat> Sorry, I just got done yawning. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, I just wanted to... <laughs> I'm such a dork. Who starts off the video yawning? And I'm leaving on here as long as my phone acts right. Um, today has been a super gloomy day. Raining outside and I have just been lounging for the day. Um, but I kind of wanted to share with you guys um, a little bit about my time at home. I think I have been home for a week now. I think I came home last. Um, excuse me. Gosh, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> and I just woke up too. I'm such a disaster. Um, I came home last Monday. So it's been a full week now. And um, I thought I would share with you guys how it's been. Um, it's definitely been a day by day kind of journey thing. Um, every day I feel something different. Um, I am right now dealing with trying not to over do things, overeat, over exert my body, um, things like that. When I say overeating, I am not like eating anything at all right now, except for cream of mushroom and chicken soup. Um, but I have to get in a minimum of like 70 or 80, um, not 80, 90 grams of protein a day and 70 ish ounces, um, of liquid. So I'm trying to reach those goals. Um, Yesterday, I got up to like 70 something and I was miserable. I could not, I could, I felt like I couldn't um, get anything. Like I wanted to like burp to relieve some of the pressure and stuff on the inside. Um, but it was like blocked in my throat and I was so anxious, like so miserable um, because I just, I didn't want to like throw up or anything. Um, so I usually like if I'm nauseous, like before surgery, I could drink a bunch of water and just like flush my system out. But now I can't do that because the, the liquid is what's making, what's causing this feeling in my throat anyway. Um, so today I have, I'm nowhere near said goals because I don't want to feel like that again. So I'm just going to, I talked to one of the nurses with my benefits coordinator um, for my insurance. Um, and she's like, yeah, it's normal. And don't try to overdo it. I talked to um, a really close family friend who had surgery. Um, she had, I forget what surgery, which surgery she had, but it, it's been years ago. And um, the response that I got from her was I overdid it. So today I'm kind of scared to eat anything. I'm a little hungry now just because I just woke up a little bit ago. Um, but I, then I woke up thirsty and chugged two little tiny ounces of crystal light and was sitting here feeling all gaggy again just a little bit ago. So yes, yeah, so I don't know about that. Um, I... As far as like my pain and stuff like that on a regular basis, um, I'm trying to stretch out the time in between doses of medicine. I only have a little bit of the liquid um, pain reliever left and I um, I really just, I don't want to have to call in a refill of that. I want to just like switch over to something that I already have um, just because. Hey guys, <clears throat> it's me. Um... In my car, because I am out doing something that I did not get a chance to do last summer. And that is hunting for yard sales. Now, I know I'm like an amateur at this because I'm just now like getting out for the day and it's like 2 o'clock. Um, but I was helping my neighbor with her yard sale. So I have been out of the house. Um, but I figured I would go find some more and um, get some activity in for the day. So that's what I'm doing. And I stopped at Taco Bell because guess what today is, guys? Today is my first day on soft foods 
off of full liquid. Let's have a round of applause for that. I can't, like literally, let me show y'all. It looks disgusting, but it's refried beans with cheese mixed in that's not like all the way melted at this point. And like, I'm done. Like seriously, I think probably three bites of it and not even the whole full like little um, spoonful, but it's like seriously sitting in my chest. It took me um, probably a couple of hours. I just like was nibbling on one packet of oatmeal for breakfast. And I know I'm not supposed to graze and I'm not supposed to just like eat all day. But I felt like if I ate for my 30 minutes and put it in the refrigerator, I had to go back upstairs and do all this. Like I was just going to go heat it back up later on anyway. So I literally only had, and I didn't even finish the whole entire pack of oatmeal. And y'all... If y'all don't know anything about me, know that I love, with all of my heart, oatmeal, brown sugar, and maple with a little tiny bit of butter and one packet of sugar substitute per packet of instant oatmeal. There is a science to it, and I like it to where I can eat it with a fork. I don't want soupy oatmeal. I want it to be thick and chunky. So... It took me forever to eat that. Like, literally, this little two-year-old baby that was in, um, at my neighbor's house literally ate her cup of pudding faster than she than I could eat my bowl of oatmeal today. And I was feeling some kind of way about this. But what do you do when you have, like, 20% of your original stomach? Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to breathe through beans at this point. <laughs> um... And it's tough, but I'm going to get out and enjoy the weather and hopefully find some yards. I found one and I bought this really huge mirror. You probably, it's like huge, huge, um, because I have a full length mirror, but I'm a little wide and I don't like the fact that I can't see like everything up close when I look in the full length mirror. So <laughs> I bought this huge mirror at this yard sale for $2. Um, so I'm going to carry this upstairs by myself and probably have a fashion show and stuff that I haven't been able to fit in I don't know how long. <laughs> so if you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, you may see pictures later on of me modeling um, stuff. So yeah, that is my day so far. So sorry that it's been forever. Um, I... Let me just think, what have I, what's been going on? I'm not going to like waste y'all's time because I want to get moving, but um, medication's going well. I haven't, I took one dose of pain medicine yesterday, um, first thing when I got out of bed because I had a terrible headache, my eye was hurting, my face, like everything on this side, like when I get a bad headache, like it's like literally everything on the right side of my face hurts bad. So I took some of the liquid pain medicine from surgery for that, but other than that, I didn't take anything yesterday. And then I actually got all, every single one of my vitamins and every um, prescription, everything in yesterday. And I felt literally like garbage. Um, I had to open capsules because I can't swallow the full pills just yet. And I like dumped a bunch of like the powder like in my mouth. And it literally stayed there for almost two hours, like just coating my throat. That was disgusting. Um, Excuse me. So, I didn't take anything today. And I probably should have. But I just don't want that feeling. And I'm like, I took my blood pressure medicine because, duh. And I didn't take the anti-inflammatory because, which I can finally start back taking that now. I didn't tell you guys that. Um, since I stopped the Lovenox injection, which is the blood thinner, um, I was able to restart my anti-inflammatory, which I really want to be on because um, pain, hello. But... I just, it's nasty, and I feel like I would rather deal with the pain than have to taste that nasty stuff on the inside of the capsule. Um, I probably will take some once I get back home, depending on how much I find out here as far as the yard sales go and stuff. Sorry, my lips have been super dry since surgery. Um, so yeah, I'll probably take that, um, take medicine and stuff once I get back home and once I'm relaxed and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me, so... That's that. What else? Oh, I never told you guys. Um, I recorded a video yesterday, but I was annoying myself because I don't know why. I think I've just been in a mood lately that everything and everybody has been annoying me. Um, 
So I'm trying to remember what oh I said. Let me think. Oh, I did not tell you guys that I think I broke a like my. <laughs> I think I popped a stitch or something on the inside of my body. Um, there's no pain. There's no bleeding. There's no like redness or anything like that. I've talked to the doctor's office, the surgeon and stuff, and everything is fine. But one night, like I don't remember when it was, like at the beginning of this week or something. Um. I was sitting on the couch and I be, uh, leaned over to pick my phone up. I had dropped my phone on the floor. And like all of a sudden there was like this unmistakable um, pop. I know that it was a stitch on the inside. And the reason why, first of all, I know what it felt like. And it's like plastic thread or it's like a piece of thread that broke. Um, piece of something. And there's one incision that's right above my belly button that um, it used to kind of be like where I could I could tell that my stomach was sewn down from the inside like down to something where it looked like I had two belly buttons, um, like two innies. And when I set back up, it was not pull like pulled in as far as it was prior to me bending over. So I immediately called uh, my um, job offers a this benefits line or whatever and um they have a 24-hour nurses line so it was like at 10 o'clock at night um i called the nurses line and she asked me a bunch of questions if they're bleeding bruising any redness um all the normal stuff any open gaping wounds like if i have an open gaping wound do you think i'm gonna sit here and wait for y'all to call me back with your two-hour time frame or do you think that i would take my behind to the emergency room anyway <laughs> none of that so she said she was confident that um i could just follow up with my surgeon's office you know within 24 hours so hold on somebody's totally calling and interrupting me okay so i'm finally back i was interrupted twice after the first interruption so i turned my phone on airplane mode <laughs> i um did not find any freaking garage sales at all, um, other than the one that I purchased the mirror at and, like, drove past some signs and didn't find anything. So, I came back home and I'm sitting outside of my car. Now, my stomach is feeling some kind of way. Like, I literally think I ate, like, I don't, I think I showed y'all how much I ate, um, but, like, probably three if that spoonfuls of those beans and I don't know if my stomach likes them but anyway they're they taste good um I'm glad that they weren't like disgusting but I think I'm going to try something else for dinner um I really been wanting to do the ricotta bake um for it's like just ricotta and che um shredded cheese and red sauce so I might do that um for dinner and see how that turns out um but i was telling y'all about the um oh when the nurse's line called the doctor the doctor didn't see um any didn't didn't seem to have any fears or anything of uh, me pulling anything on the inside and um he was just like that he'll uh if anything changes like my condition or if like i have any bleeding or of course anything like that um to let them know as soon as possible um but you know if not then he would just check me for um a hernia the next time i see him which i don't think i see him until it's probably well i guess that would be a month maybe i don't know like june something so that's that. Um, I am going to end this now. I think I kind of caught you guys up on everything. Um, my blood pressure has been um, sort of stabilizing around um, like 120 over 70 range. My doctor wants me to get it down to 110 over 70-ish just so that way I can start to cut the blood pressure medicine in half. And then I think I told y'all this already, but um, so I've been around there. My sugar's still fine. I don't have to take any medication for sugar. Um, and I am going to go take medicine now because my legs hurt. Um, I went to the dollar store. I didn't really walk that much. So I think maybe I'll take my neighbor's dog for a walk maybe because he's outside and maybe i should walk um that's another thing i really am going to get a puppy now guys i'm so excited because last year i really want one wanted one and we were looking and like i picked some out online um that i wanted to go look at and it was just like i wasn't 
about to get outside and in the winter time take my stiff body and do anything but now i actually feel really hopeful that i can be a puppy mommy um so i'm really excited about that um so yeah i'm saying um a lot and i'm tired and my belly hurts so i'm gonna let you guys go but it's been super awesome catching back up with y'all i'm going to try and make sure that i get more videos and stuff up um uploaded when i have new little milestones or if i try new foods and stuff now that i'm on this new um stage so thank you guys for watching Here's to seeing less of me and more of you. All of my links, of course, again, will be in the description box down below. And, um, yeah, I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.